Hi there, in this lesson we're going to be looking at whole tone scales. Uh, kind of sometimes a fringe scale for guitarists to uh, use, but nonetheless an excellent scale to know and learn. It's used a lot in jazz, it's used a lot in classical music, and it's also used uh, sometimes in rock and pop songs. And uh, the question that I want you to think about is what uh, number one hit uh, had started off with a whole tone scale? Uh, I'll tell you the answer to that. My name uh, later in this video. My name is Jed Brocky. This is GMI. <laughs> Hi there, welcome to the lesson. Um, I'm going to tell you about that uh, number one hit that had a whole tone scale in the intro uh, later in the lesson. This is going to be a short lesson because uh, the truth is there's not a lot to learn with whole tone scales. The difficulty with whole, tones, whole, whole tone scales, apart from trying to actually say them, is uh, knowing when to use them. That will be for another video. In this video, I just want to talk about the actual uh, function uh, practicality of playing whole tone scales. So uh, as the name suggests, the scale is actually generated from whole tones, which you can see on the screen there. That means instead of eight notes, there's seven notes. So uh, we can take any, let's say we take the F, and if we play in whole tones, on the, the seventh tone, we're back to the beginning. So that makes them kind of peculiar. The other thing you should know about whole tone scales is that they can be named after any one of the notes within the scale. So I just played an F whole tone scale there. But I could equally call that a G whole tone. An A, uh, a B, a C sharp, or indeed a D sharp whole tone scale. This is ramifications when we play through uh, chord progressions because fundamentally there are only two different whole tone scales, a semitone apart. So let's look at the actual way to play this on the guitar. So um, we have this one, two, four stretch formation. And then when we go into the next string, it comes together and again the stretch. And then it comes together for two strings and then back again. And that's it. If you're a lover of Claude Debussy, you'll no doubt relate to that sound. So, how else can we play this? Um, we can actually play it diagonally across the neck, and we take that formation here, and we just generate it right across. diagonal movement like that. So really there's not a lot more to say about the whole tone scale. Um, we're not going to discuss, I'm not going to discuss uh, things such as um, how to apply these right now. I really just wanted you to mess about with it and get used to it. You can start it on any finger. very um, malleable scale in terms of the fingering. How you actually finger it and, and play it. So, I said at the beginning, uh, I think it was a number one hit. Um, it was Stevie Wonder's You're the Sunshine of My Life, which starts, I'm doing this totally from memory, but it starts off something like this. I think it's actually played in third. Stevie Wonder, You're the Sunshine of My Life. Check it out. Pretty sure that I'm right. If I'm wrong, I know I'm going to get a lot of uh, brick bats for it, but so what I thought I'd uh, throw that in there. So I hope you enjoyed the lesson. And uh, you check out our channel. If you're not a subscriber, 
please subscribe. It'd be great to have the more the merrier. Um, so in the following lessons, we'll no doubt be looking at other scales. There are other tutors that uh, work for GMI who will be given their spin on how to play guitar styles and a whole lot of soloing, a whole range of things. So thanks for being part of it. My name's Jed Brocky. This is GMI. See you on the next one.